Let's get straight to tonight's top stories. Struggling against the historic and deadly floodwaters in the Balkans. The deluge is dredging up other threats as well. We're going to get a live update from the region. Plus, a glimpse into the workings of the ruthless terror group Boko Haram. We'll hear from informants who are putting their lives at risk. And a Dutchman moves into Old Trafford. Find out what Manchester United's new manager plans for that club. A disaster of historic proportions is gripping the Balkan region of southeastern Europe. Floods from a storm that hit last week have left entire cities and towns virtually underwater. A reporter in the flood zone says at least 36 people have been killed in Bosnia, Herzegovina, and in Serbia. We know of at least one fatality in Croatia as well. The floods have also triggered landslides. Those landslides are creating another major concern. Officials fear they may have churned up landmines left over from the Bosnian War of two decades ago. Let's get the latest now from a reporter right in the middle of this calamity. Amir Krivoshia is with CNN affiliate N1. He's on the line from uh, Sarmats in Bosnia. What can you tell us uh, about the situation where you are? Yeah, correct. I'll tell you that. But first of all, I have to tell you, so far, 38 casualties within the whole Balkan region confirmed information by the authorities. You know, Brenova, Serbia, the current situation is chaotic. Police and army are in a hurry to evacuate all the civilians out of Brenova as soon as possible. The river Sava still represents the greatest threat of all. As you said, I'm currently in Shemets, which is the worst hit area in Bosnia. Chief of Bosnia's Defense Forces said that this town doesn't exist anymore. And let me tell you, that's not far from Tua. I see the same. I just returned from the evacuation mission. More than 300 people have been evacuated from Shemets today. I saw fear in the faces of civilians. And at the same time, the happiness, just being glad that they are alive. I've been talking to a major officer in the Army, uh, Mr. Agic. Even though evacuation has been mandatory, many citizens here in Shemets refuse, still refuse to leave their homes. The fears now are also high temperatures, which promote risk of disease spreading. There in Shamats, where you are right now, Amir, how would you estimate damages uh, to the property there? We have heard reports in the last hour or so that officials in Bosnia and Herzegovina are, are estimating that you probably got a billion dollars in damage across the region. That's correct. The greatest uh, danger is our minds, because earlier uh, here in Shemet and also uh, in the in the Magle, uh, I saw the sorrow in the faces of the citizens. It's because uh, the minds considering the fact that this is not a safe area anymore. Uh, there's a great concern that many unexploded mines are traveling with, uh, with uh, mudslides and water, uh, making it hard to detect them. Uh, there are fears that some of those mines will reach Croatia and Serbia, even uh, Bulgaria and Romania, uh, through the river of Sava. Uh, there's uh, more than 100,000 unexploded mines still in Bosnia. Uh, let me tell you, uh, river levels are dropping, but it's still critical in the northern Bosnia, eastern Croatia, and in the west of Serbia. Uh, here in Shanat, evacuations don't stop. Uh, let me tell you, I was in Bosnia during and after the war, and all remains of the scenes after the war here. Amir uh, Krivosia, we want to thank you very much on the line from Shamats uh, in Bosnia, Herzegovina. Thanks so much. Let's get some more on the flooding because right now, you know, I think as we look at all of this situation, uh, it's, you know, uh, something where it's what comes next that really yes. counts. Tom Sater, yes. what's the view? Uh, well, the good news is most of the rain is in.